Let me show you all the new Giovanna. I'm gonna give you a rundown of everything she has now and what she doesn't have anymore. As well as also what her new game plan is, what her what her win condition is, because apparently now she's a win condition. Let's get to it. So, what is the new Giovanna exactly? The new Giovanna is a character that has a clear-cut win condition, very very different pressure from the old one, and an overall neutral-based game plan. So she doesn't have a specifically based game plan around her pressure anymore, it is now a neutral-based game plan, which extends into her pressure. What do I mean by that? So, when you start this game with Giovanna now, you are now in a position where you have by far one of the best tools at round start, which is counter hitting your opponent with 5k and 2k in specific. So for example, if Soul would press a button against me, like far slash, and I would press 2k, I now have the leverage of getting a free safe jump, which is something I didn't before. So. This is like one of the one of the biggest things in this patch in general. Um, so let's just have Soul. Uh, I'm using Soul as an example because he basically has everything. He has a DP, he has a Rosa Super, he has a frame free button. He basically has like everything you would need. But yeah. So as you can see right here, if this counter hit happens, I now am guaranteed the safe jump. No matter what. Right? No matter what. This is like one of the biggest things. P pressure and K pressure has phenomenally gotten better for this character because one situation like like this as it used to be where I will get this and then I would be at risk of like having to do a 50-50 strike throw for as right here I don't have to do this anymore because I get the safe jump and a fuck ton of damage from that alone um, I don't have to worry about that anymore so one of Giovanna's best things right now about her is the fact that these buttons are fundamentally broken and why are they exactly so fucking strong well you remember this little dash that i have uh yeah with this dash i can ignore most moves in the game that are less than eight frames so any move that is about the same length as mine i will get i will get either hit or go equal with and trade so what about any move that is frame 10 or above, which are most of the common round start options that reach full screen, right? I get a full safe jump on there, it doesn't matter. I can dash forward, land this, get a safe jump, call a day, and I'm already here. I'm already in the position I want to be as the character because 2k is by far my safest option around start and it's when I win now It's actually phenomenal. Like it's really really strong That is like one of the first things and the thing is this is a frame 8 conversion So if they dash back or walk back and I do a dash I can still catch them for it Right like I don't need to worry here about anything and it's the same with 5k. With 5k, like, I get 6p anyway. Like, I already got 6p, but it was more of a risk because it could be 6p as well, right? And now with this, I don't have to worry about that. Unless they 2k themselves, and it's like a whole other mind game. So, round start has been phenomenally improved, but it's not only round start has improved, it's also just her regular neutral game. And why is that? It's because of this small little dash here. This dash is phenomenal in pressure. And it is phenomenal neutral as well, because it allows me to FD cancel instantly into a full dash here. So I can bait a dash and just bait you into pressing anything and I whiff punish you literally in front of you. That's the whole point of like this new part of her pressure, which is just the theory behind it is you now have the leverage option of going right in front of your opponent or going right or baiting them into something. And if you bait them into literally anything, you can punish them for a year and a half. It doesn't matter. Like, you just have to bait them in the right directions, right? This is like one of the this is like one of the biggest parts of her kit now. The the most important part isn't even the FD cancel, even though that's also really, really strong. It is this. It is like the small dash here. Because the small dash lets you bait even at like areas like here. Where it's like you're literally right in front of your opponent and you dash and you dash forward and backwards. So if they press 2k. You can dodge it and other moves too but yeah tldr her neutral got phenomenal um compared to like her last patches she probably has the best neutral in the game now because she can do these small dashes but she can also do these small dashes with fd so i can i can have this dash be controlled even more if i wanted to like this you see 
So I can like control it like very hard. Like look at that, that is such a small dash and you still hear and see the animation of it. So now this is gonna get really complicated. Giovanna didn't have a win condition last patch. Her win condition was basically you just strike throw funny and you just call it a day. I believe her new win condition is positive bonus or 50% tension, either or. Just any sort of meter is basically her win, her win condition now. I believe. To put this into perspective, right now, one of the biggest issues in this game for Giovanna, which is an obstacle she cannot overcome anymore, is 6p. No matter how you see it, and no matter how you want to see it, 6p literally is impossible to get around with specials. I get 6p for this. I get 6p for this. I get 6p for this. And if I 6p right here, I will fucking either go either trade, which makes no difference for me whatsoever. Technically here you can clash with Soul and then you can press another button, but Soul has a DP and other characters have like also DP, so it's not the best situation for you. But TLDR, um, all of this can be fuzzy now. Which means you can fuzzy mash, and if my 214k is with this sort of timing, where you can still hit the 6p, What's gonna happen is they're gonna block. So it's like an inescapable way to deal with it. Like you cannot possibly do this pressure anymore that you used to. This pressure here, close slash 2s, 5h, 214k, and all of the buttons as well are fucking gone. They're completely removed from the game. You can't do them anymore. Like at all. You, you can't do them anymore. However, very fat however, there are a ton of options you can do now to make your opponent suffer for pressing 6p, which then allows you to do this shit again. Basically, it can regain your old pressure through mental stacking. Not only does this method do more damage, this method is also fucking safer. No, I am not joking when I say that. Doing other pressure, which takes fucking brain cells now, is genuinely smarter, and it is safer to do with your setups. So, let me demonstrate a scenario right here, where my opponent would fuzzy mash 6p. This is one. So, as soon as they press 6p, what you can do now, is you just press 2k, and because the counter hit, as I showed you earlier, you now get a full safe jump off of it. That is like how meterless pressure can work now off of this setup alone. Right? You can press 2d as well, if you position yourself right. But honestly, if you can get the 2D, why not just go for the 2K right away? Because you will get the same thing. You get this exact same scenario here and the safe jump, as I said, or an another OTG. Basically, this is how you open the floodgates to using specials again. So your pressure now from this alone is to position yourself properly, right? And when you do that, you now have the free reign to do 2k, for example, or 2d, or, 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 2, 3, 6k. Because you're positioned far enough away, you can hit them for it. And not only can you hit 6p, you can also hit their 2k. So if they match literally anything in this scenario, you, you hit them. Let's have sold in 2k, right? You see? Even though I didn't get the punish right away, I could have gotten it with a different timing if I hard called it out. Like this. But you are basically safe against both. And they can't do anything after that. So it's basically just turn is over. If they press 2D after that, they get counter hit. Right? So, the way to play Geo now on pressure is to not just... <laughs> Let me hit this. Let me get this devious lick, bro. And no, no, now, the way you play with her, active positioning, microspacing, dedicated setups to cover specific options. And then, the last layer is layer 1 again, where you can add all of this to the game plan. Because right here, right, if he presses 6k, as you can see, 
I can now punish it. And they get a full conversion. It doesn't matter. If they press 6p here, I get 2k. And the, the, the other funny thing is right here. If I'm positioned here, I can also punish the 2k. So you punish 2k, you punish 6p, you basically punish them for pressing anything. And as soon as they stop pressing, you throw, and then you win. And you can do this against any character in the roster now. And this is just the basic, 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 basic setup. This is where the win condition comes in. The tension gauge. Because what happens if you give a character like Giovanna positive bonus or any sort of tension on this? You get 250 damage and an Oki setup. And you can do this setup off of any of her fucking buttons. P. Works perfectly. Works like a fucking charm. It's actually perfectly set up. K. If you, if you fully space it right here. Two D. And you can get it off of these setups here. This is just one of the many examples of the new pressure you can do, right? And this spacing is enough against every other character, yes. Because if they press other buttons, like frame 7 buttons, there are specific setups for all of them. Same with Kai, same with Zato. We figured, yesterday I figured out exact ways to cover Zato's 2p and to punish him for it. There are ways for every character to punish them. You just have to be very specific now with your pressure of everyone. It works against every character in the game, yes. It works against any character in the fucking game, it doesn't matter. Do you want to see the broken part about uh, Giovanna versus Leo while we're fucking at it? Leo Whitefang is going to press his favorite button against me on defense, 2k. I threw his fucking button after 236k. He can't do shit. I can actively bro this motherfucker for pressing anything besides DP. Actually, that's not even true. DP as well. He has to press P buttons. He has to press anything that is above 7 frames. So he has to try to press fucking P as much as he wants to. And here's the problem. Here's what happens when he presses fucking P, dude. He fucking dies for it, because he's out of range. So he has to commit to fucking K, which you can throw for free after 236. He has to commit to a risk no matter what. Because even if he DPs here, I can throw him. It doesn't matter. Like, uh, like, it does, like I just want to show you, it does not matter. Same scenario again. Let's just repeat this process till you're done mashing, bro. And at some point they're gonna start mash they're gonna fucking start mashing. And then I do this. Goodbye. So now the biggest problem that Geo has in this patch is completely solved. Uh meterless pressure. And here's something else about this pressure that is really interesting. You guys wanna know which move was completely useless in pressure up until literally today. 2H. 2H is beyond godlike as a pressure tool now because 6Ps are so strong. Because if they 6P right here. Shake my hand. 290 damage. Shake my hand, dude. This tool is phenomenal because even if I'm wrong. Look at where I'm standing, bro. So this is the this is this is how you deal with the meterless pressure now, right? Like if you have no if you have no meter anymore, this is basically it. So in TLDR, what changed for Giovanna? They got rid of 214 S as a as a tool for plus frames. They got rid of 214K and 2D, right? 2D is weaker. 2D is weaker. Uh because it's negative eight now. 
two one for K is weaker, two one for S is weaker. What is what is stronger though? What is genuinely stronger now? P and K. Because both of them have counter properties now. Let's talk about Giovanna's actual win condition in this patch, which is the only way for her to fucking get it. The funny tension bar. And why is it strong? Because of 214S. 214S actually has been completely reworked as a tool, it is no longer used to get plus frames or any of that bullshit, it is actively used for one thing and one thing only. Pressure and crossing up your opponent and doing massive damage in both scenarios. Just to put it in perspective, I'm gonna have Leo be set to guard only the first hit. Basically what that means is as soon as there's a gap in pressure, he will get hit. All right? As soon as there is even a gap in pressure, he will get hit. And afterwards, I'll have him throw as well, just to show how busted this is. All right, so let's, for now, throw general action two. This scenario here is plus 13 for Giovanna. So if he throws here, well, I can shimmy him. I get the exact same result as earlier. Mid screen. So it's a guaranteed strike for all my end. Why is it plus 13? Uh, RC. Red Roman cancel. Cancel. So because because of this, there's a massive time delay now. Because he's still like in this like clock window here, right? It's just in it's just in slower. Or rather say this is just in faster. So I can force this out of him. Let's say my my let's say my um let's say my combo actually works before that. So this is on whiff, by the way. This is this is if I this is not on a whiff, sorry. This is on block. So if I am wrong about which side it will hit him, before I get like my massive combo, so my massive combo is this right here. Hold on. Two hundred and sixty-three. So this this tiny scenario hit the two hundred sixty-three plus five damage from close side. So it's two hundred sixty-eight. If I'm correct. Plus, look at my tension bar. Look at how much I have already. Right. This is where Giovanna's win condition will come in in just a second. This is where it will come in in just a second, which is positive bonus slash meter. So, let's say I'm right. I get two hundred sixty-three. Let's say I'm wrong. Okay, let's say I'm incorrect, and he blocks all of it. I can get a 50-50 here if I wanted to. That's that's one. Guaranteed 50-50. One is a guaranteed 50-50 mix-up. Two! I'm plus 13. And I can choose to either strike or throw here or completely reset pressure. I can basically press whatever I feel like here before he can even do anything. He can't DP. He can't mash, he can't super, he can't burst, he's stuck. Like, he's genuinely stuck. He's genuinely fucking stuck in hit stun for a half a fucking year. So I have a 50-50 on whiff, I have a 50-50 with a fail it. The other version is plus 13 strike throw. A plus 13 strike throw shimmy scenario. The third one is it hits and I do 260. But they also have to react to which side I'm going. Because I can still go left and right here because of the momentum shift. Nothing stops me from doing it right here. Or like positioning myself perfectly right here to hit it in front of them. Nothing stops me from doing that. Absolutely nothing. Unless they 6p. And the whole point of the mind game and the fucking pressure is what exactly? What is the point of the meatless pressure? Say it fucking with me. Fuck 6p. The entire mental stack is to get them to not press 6p. So what happens when I do fucking this? They won't press it. They can't. They're not doing this anymore. They're actively fu they're not fuzzy mashing it any anymore or anything. So I have the full range to get this set up. I can get a mid screen. And unfortunately in the corner it's not really a thing because I can't cross up. But that's not the fucking point. The point is I can do it. And that's why it's fucking powerful. Because the corner for me is just another way to get the pressure going. But the mental stack stays everywhere on the screen. It stays literally everywhere on the screen. Basically the game plan with Giovanna is, you play Street Fighter until you hit 50% tension and you play Guilty Gear Strive made for the personal computer. 
You play your footsie with punishing clean, clean Giovanna. You play your clean game. And as soon as the tension meter hits, you hit them with 50 50s plus 20 moves, like plus 13 setups, fucking 200 plus damage on everything. And the best part about all of this for Giovanna in specific is even if she gets shit on the entire round, if she has even a little bit of health and 50% tension, it's enough to finish you. If I'm careful enough, it's complete enough to finish you in two interactions. If you don't want to believe me, let's fucking put Eno on this. Let's put Eno on this, right? Because Eno is a character that can literally shit on you on round start. And I can get 50% tension off of her. So what happens if I play against her properly and I win two interactions? Which is the interactions I just talked about earlier. So guard only first hit. And after recovery, she's gonna 6 speed. Situation 1. I went from having 1 HP to her, to her having 283 damage, plus 5 loss. So 288 damage, just gone. Annihilated. My tension bar is at 40%, roughly, and I'm getting positive bonus here. She presses 6p on round start. I won. One mix up and one win at round start got me the entire game because I had 50% tension. That's all I needed. That's all I, I just needed 50% tension. That's all I needed. I didn't need full meter. I didn't need anything. I just needed one close slash. And you can also do this with 5k. Doesn't matter. But it's basically like this is your win condition now. No matter what. And no matter where on your screen. You can get this full screen as well. You can you can hit this anywhere. It doesn't matter. You can just do you just gotta do different routes. But this is the optimal scenario where it's like you literally get 50% tension no matter what. And then you can pressure her for it. And now I want to show you something that's really, really broken as well now because of the meter changes. So, because of the meter changes to this character, if you have even 60% tension, theory is I can close slash 6H. This is gapless, by the way. You cannot escape this, no matter what. And you're trapped in a guaranteed 50-50. If I'm wrong, I get another bar. If I'm right, I get another bar. <laughs> Basically. So... Let's say I'm wrong here, on the, and I hit only the high. I still get an entire another interaction beforehand, afterwards, so I'm completely safe, it doesn't matter. And I can go for a high and low afterwards as well. You said the fuzzy block? Doesn't make a difference. doesn't make a difference. The whole point is just, I get it here, like I can get a 50-50 now guaranteed. And afterwards, I can reset you into a throw situation. And then, right here, this is also all gapless, so I can do it again. Like the whole point is, as soon as I have positive bonus and you're on block, you're pretty much fucked. There's no like way for you to get out of it. Like, it's, it's just constant 50-50s and you have to guess. And you can do this with 50% tension as well, where this is starting to be a win condition, where again you play clean. And then you want the wall break for the positive bonus, so you do this, and you gap them into 50-50. And if you're correct, you'll get the wall break here. If not, then you won't, right? But the, the whole point the whole point of this pressure is you can continue this as long as you feel like it. And they have very little solutions to get out of it, overall. It is not perfect. There are options for them to get out, don't get me wrong. But the condition that you are in is this is just one out of many mix-ups you can now do with this character, right? Like on a constant, just because of positive bonus. And if it fails, you still get chip damage. Right? This is all while they're taking chip damage because of Giovanna's new fucking 50% tension. So, the way you play her now is you play safe until you get 50% tension and then you fucking send it. But... That, that's where that's where the strategy comes in. You have to be very strategic with how you use your 50% tension. Because if you fuck it up, your win condition is gone. That is the trade you have to take. If you fuck the 50% tension up, your win condition is removed. 
either in disadvantage, advantage, anywhere. If you waste the 50 bar, that's it. You still have a way to make it, but to win, but it will be a lot harder than with the 50% meter. Like, it is a lot easier if you have 50% bar than if you don't. And it's in a lot of situations, even in like the regular, like, gapless pressure right here. Like, just the fact that you can do this, if they press a button afterwards, is already like a very, like, good giveaway to like kill them. Right, because 6 to 3 s doesn't work like that anymore, we can hit lows with it, so the risk right there isn't really there anymore. Like, it can still work on a, a couple of moves, but it's a lot less, right? So, if you have bar here, you're at least able to either extend it or hit them for anything, right? Like, for pressing a 2k, for pressing whatever, and they're already scared enough even without the meter, without the meter pressure. And the good thing about this game, fortunately, for Giovanna, is that they have made everything in their power to make meter a better thing. They, they, they have done it, like, they have done it to make meter just way stronger for this character than for, like, a lot of other characters too. After, like, all of this, and after looking at all of the changes, I actually have no clue if Giovanna's works are better. And if so, by how much. I think, hypothetically, she's better, because the meter changes and the counter hits are just really, really big. I just need to see how strong she is now like compared to our old version because the pressure is nice and it requires a lot more flop process but it's also a lot safer because like if i if i like if i fuck up on the 2k like what what happens bro like you know what i mean like nothing crazy is gonna happen if i fuck up a 2k or anything like that but like high risk high reward shit like uh the stuff i used to do is a lot is a lot worse and the safer options are a lot better so like, it's become more consistent, more solidified, essentially. There's a bunch more shit that comes into this, which is, like, the positive bonus stuff, again. Uh, but, like, this is just, like, day fucking five, man. But at least now, I have a game plan to work with, and I have an actual win condition to work around.